Because I sent out a strike team mission when I left the Citadel. I'd like to know if it succeeded, because I'd like to get those resources. Connecting. Are you going to connect? Come on. All right, I can do a short record break while we connect. Oh, offline. Why are we not connecting? I'm going to do a quick record break, and when I get back, hopefully, and next is Dalman, hopefully we will actually be connected to... We can handle the online and the strike team stuff. All right. Dump, but up. Still unable to connect. Why aren't you able to connect? Oops, sorry. We're back. Sorry for the uh, nasty sounding cough there. For those wa listening to the actual stream. <clears throat> I am mostly over this cold. But I still have nasty sniffles. All right, so our next objective is to head back to the Nexus. But first, let's see if I can phone in. Nope. This is a really nice office area, though. Let's take a look at my at our engine room. That's kind of the one area of the ship we haven't explored yet. I think with that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here. I don't care how the vault's doing it. That's it, basically. That's how. I prefer tech with more exposed vaults. You can't open it if you don't own it. That's fair. I can dig it. Pathfinder making the rounds. Yes, sorry for not talking to you earlier. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff were making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the show. Oh, what? Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was yeah. bleak. Not gonna lie. The whole sucked. waiting for resources to run out and die thing. I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Well... I'm not going to flirt, because I'm playing her as not straight. Um...
help you find purpose that makes me feel that, that that reads like i shall like me as religious leader which is a bit much you mean how jazzed you were that a pathfinder showed that up. works tomato potato you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go and i'll make sure she can get there deal deal all right profile for gill All right. Earth's megalopolis city is probably London from the accent. Maybe from Australia? Ah. So he were, he got came here with with Vetra. So how does this bad boy work? Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make it. It's like reverse Scotty. Expands the Gill legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. What's your social circle like? Mm. Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Speaking of which... How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Can't say I have. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey... You could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic To be history. fair, if- Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes that's an enemy. That's fair. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. Sad. And for what it's worth, I mean, failing here, it's not the biggest failure in galactic history because no one will know about it if we screw up. Well, no one back in the Milky Way will know about it if we screw up. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, veteran Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. As far as your Hyperion peeps go. Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. Well. Hmm. Supportive or kind of undermining behind her back? Let's go supportive. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for health. Nothing was going for. What about Callow? He's a pilot. Which means he flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then. Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Do you two not like get along? I mean, Callow helped build the thing, and you're keeping it up and running. You'd think you'd have a reaction to each other that relates to that. So, Petra, what do you think of our new ride? Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be. An and the sum intel. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Blah. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, right? Yeah. The plan's the same. 
we find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Low death due to asphyxiation and or starvation or dehydration, which is not a pleasant way to go. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. Rounding. Uh, you are our Max Klinger, except not dressed in drag. Or Lebanese. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that. And here, this built up rising. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw Maybe since they're screwed That's too. The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. If I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. And again, not to mention, if you're going to con somebody, you... I mean... There's the whole thing from uh, Neptune's Brood. If you're going to run a big con Ponzi scheme thing to get a whole bunch... that potentially gets a whole bunch of people killed... You don't put yourself in a position to die, too. Did you just clip through the box? <clears throat> you barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss-poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. Mm -hmm. You were a cop. Then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. Hmm. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. Hmm. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Okay. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much. Which is why I brought my twin it with me. How about you? Uh... Life with my family was not typical on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. Nice chatting further. We'll talk later. I know it. No chatting there. Let's head back. I do like this way of doing the ladders. It's still a little kind of eh in a few respects, but it keeps you from going down them on accident. I still can't log in. Chat with Aura. Hi there. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? That's a bit direct. Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross species military integration initiative. Your time defending Silva's expedition was probably more important. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful This is a good question. The galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue artists. Isn't that redundant? People demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. 
The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. Any stories? After four years with Asari commandos, he must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards. That once. is a good story. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Yeah. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Hmm. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. The Prothean digs woke us up to how much we don't know, and to what humanity's next leap might be. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. I wanted to find worlds and secrets no one had ever seen, and Scott was itching for adventure. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small. Not do you? really. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long. The whole Artagachi thing. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self control. I would have thought there'd probably been some fraternization with you just because, from what I recall from the previous games, Asari frowned in fraternization with another Asari See you later, Cora. because that's how you get Arda Yakshi. Um, but other races is preferable. Hi, hey, Lexi. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. Hmm. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger. It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Interesting. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. That's something. Hmm. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. And what brought you on the mission? So how did an Asari doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Hmm, Harry insisted because maybe he got you two got a thing for each other. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. Yeah. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? With what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the I'm surface. I'm not going to joke planet. too much about the archaeology stuff. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, Accomplished something far beyond us. I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? 
I tried to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover. What they say about the vault? After all, many brains are better than one, and Doctor Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Doctor Aridana, and she told me, well. It wasn't our tech that did it. It was the gang. Really? You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. Huh. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. Darn. FTL sensor. So a faster than light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. I want to guess Reapers. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Yep. Using the info, even obtaining <clears throat> it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. Where did they got it from Shepard? What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even Whoa. evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. Nice. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. Huh. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Yeah, let's talk one more time. Hello, to keep up to date, see what you think about what we saw. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. Well, that explains how um, Gil's thoughts about Kahlo. We try with everyone again. We haven't gotten the um, Brogan yet. Detected. Interesting. What do we have for an what's our anomaly? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Let's see what we got. Yeah, patches dolls to see we can now skip theoretically skip these if we want to. Um they haven't annoyed me yet, so I'm gonna stick with it. A whole bunch of iron. Nice. Let's check out some of these other planets. Before we head back to the Nexus. Just so we can see I've got this whole system more or less analyzed. Alright. Multiple dust rings, which nickel, but um, provided by asteroid impacts or meteorite impacts, but because of the impacts, it's also hard to mine them because you're getting shelled while you're investigating the planet. Next up, Pele. I'm assuming it's very volcanic considering it's named after a Hawaiian volcano god. Goddess. Uh, 
Nothing from permanent has aggravated volcanic activity. Upper methane atmosphere contributes to planet scorching conditions, though not particularly habitable. Alright, we have three plants of the tour. We have H276. Honsu. And Nanook. Alright, let's... Nanook, then an H... whatever. I kind of like this. Gas giant. So obviously not habitable for that reason. I've seen Ket visitors, which have apparently taken themselves out or been destroyed by something. Um... Various degrees of storms in the atmosphere. No big massive superstorm like the red spot. H276. Huh. Looks like it looks like an atmosphere and liquid water. Ah, it's liquid chlorine. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Hey, more research data. Satellite we sent to analyze the system. Alright, so... Yeah, chlorine atmosphere... Here's of chlorine-based life, no detailed study done. I'm assuming that the planet's surface... That is actually liquid chlorine, not liquid water. Which would be interesting if we need, find ourselves in need of large quantities of chlorine, we got a place to go to get it. And last but not least, Tonsu. Hey! Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. A whole bunch of beryllium. Actually, accessible beryllium. I oh, got the system mapped. Fully surveyed. It is time to head back to the Nexus. We haven't really explored Ericsson yet. I think it's a new system we uncovered. Um, let's go back to the Nexus so we can find some stuff there. Well, I've surveyed a bunch of it.
Yep, let's come in for a landing and report in. Bet you thought we would be back, did you? Surprise, we're back. Alright, do a quick record break, and then I've got some quests to work on when I get um, in the next installment. <laughs>